It's not comfortable. Yeah, is this comfortable? Not made for pregnant ladies. It's sitting on my baby's arm. <laughs> Give us a hot number. The yes, girl podcast guitar session. Are you rapping or singing? Uh, neither. <laughs> right. Oh my god. Vibrato, and then I'm doing like small bands like Right? It's so heavy and it feels so delicate. It's a guitar player, it's hard for them to walk into a guitar store and I'll leave with a guitar and like I think everyone has their problem. If you're a guitar player. This one looks like nice. Yeah, that ain't mine. That's one of our it's home decorated. Home yeah, decorated. Yeah. On electric guitar, only two things matter, which is the pickups, which are those things that there in the middle, and the and the strings. Mm -hmm. I just saw a, a, there's a guy that studies all this tone stuff, and uh, you know people they talk. I mean, some guitars are three thousand dollars for that. I mean, up, upwards from there, mm -hmm. but uh, all that matters on electric guitar is those pickups and the guitar strings are the only things involved in the sound. Otherwise, uh, everything else is just your paint for looks. Well, actually, that's not entirely true because the way the neck feels is also really important okay. in how the neck plays and if it's set up properly. So, but it doesn't, like, unlike an acoustic guitar, it doesn't affect, the body doesn't affect the sound. No, not at all. But there are people who will tell you different, but they're wrong. Mm. Yes. <laughs> So we're trying to just get the latency down. Oh, we're, we're good to go? All right. Okay. So I'll play a little bit and I'll just show you just sort of, um, just a couple of options mm -hmm. that you can mess with. Claire Stramios. Love it. It's showing on the screen. Down. Yes, girls, podcast. Did it. This is Silas's guitar. Silas Piper. Silas Piper is a musician in Snowball Studios. Push your first finger and your third finger. Mm -hmm. Okay? So you're gonna go. Wait, do you use the Index for the first note, uh -huh. and then we're going up. Two, two, two frets. Two, two frets. Like, oh, yes. Which string? I there thought they had big fingers. Big hands. My nails are a problem. Okay, let's let's simplify it even further. Okay. okay, just use your index finger. Index. Okay. Just for both. Oh, both. So, I'm so you're going from this? fifth to seventh. Mm -hmm. Hit it when you move up there. Are, so you're just hitting that string, boom. And then you move it and do the same. This is a good combination. Yeah, doing it. These strings are tough. Okay. Change fingers. Jesus, okay, that's not working. Seeing your first finger. So the index is stronger. Usually, because it's holding it yeah, stronger. Yeah, yeah. yeah and, then the, so the, and then the string below. Oh. String okay. below. So you're one, playing the, the same string. The fourth. You're pressing the different string, but you need to actually pluck the same string. Oh shit! Okay. <laughs> okay. Below. Below. What am I going down? The the press one or the pluck? One down. The pluck. The pluck. And the press. <laughs> Third and fourth string, fifth and seventh fret. Nice. How was that? Right? It's fun. It feels pretty fun, right? Yeah.
Yeah. It's like it's a lot of because then you start getting into it. And you're like, yeah. maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that. <laughs> and it doesn't sound good. It's still in. It's still the right combination. It works. That's is this how? It's is this how jazz yeah. jazz people just riff? Yeah. Oh yeah. Kind yeah. Of I mean, off. jazz people uh -huh. like blues people. We deal with five notes. Mm -hmm. Jazz people deal with. I mean, they. I mean, it depends on how complicated they get. Mm -hmm. yeah. But essentially, they're you're just feeling it out. Oh. So the more sensitive you become later mm -hmm. as you learn more notes and learn mm -hmm. more scales the more sensitive you become to that the more you can just instinctively go here or there nice. so here we're only going there 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 but if you're like the more you know then you can be like oh i can even go i can even go there and then you hear a song that you know and you're like hey that guy went there and you're like i'll go there too <laughs> and then before you know it you have a whole style of your own wow and that's guitar Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, yeah. If you're gonna play that string, you're not playing hard. Uh, yeah. So if, yeah, make sure to keep this finger pressed down after you play. So like, yeah. So, so out of the, those four notes. So. Super complicated. You can kind of see how maybe in like maybe four weeks, yeah. you know, you could be there. Could get like it's not that far off because mm -hmm. we're just adding one more note. Yeah, and then now, it's speed yeah. and rhythm. Yeah. Like a, yeah. Exactly. And finger, and then, and finger well, resilience. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Then your finger, exactly. Yeah. Because then you get your calluses. I've always loved how I like calluses, like you know, to what someone does. Because mm -hmm. I cook a lot, so I have a callus here mm. from handling the knife. Yeah. And then I got my finger calluses. Yeah. I like shake someone's hand. And I'll yeah, be like, you're a guitar player. You know, because <laughs> <laughs> you can feel the calluses. Well, they usually at yeah. the top. Yeah, right at the top. Uh, Unless you go, like, mine are kind of top down, because I play a weird technique. Mm -hmm. So they're kind of like there. Oh. Whereas if I play, like, proper, the proper technique, which would be, it'd just be at the tip. Mm -hmm. you know, I play Hendrix style. So I get my, my thumb works as well. The thumb is doing something. Oh, it's touching the, the, the top one. Yeah. Oh, wow. Woo! Ow! So all of those notes in that whole thing mm -hmm. is just one more note that you just learned. What? So and everything I just so played was just yeah. one more note. Out of the oh four that we learned. Yeah, so additional. one more note and What's then the everything I played right there. So, then just that. You're watching me going, yeah. if yeah. I'm going like that, like it seems tricky. Mm. But it's just a breakdown of those four notes plus one note, mm. plus those five little tricks I do. Mm. You put all that together, and then that's pretty much my entire life. That's you know, an entire that. song. Yeah, Lots of songs, actually. I made a lot of money just with that. Wow. <laughs> you don't need On That's blues. Welcome to the stage, the Yes Girls Podcast. Woo! The crowd goes wild. Toda and a cool. And then one, two, three, hit it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> that's, that's the blues. I mean, I, 
hesitate to say that. And, if you're and thousands of hours of practice. And thousands of hours of practice, yeah. 10,000 hours. But I think, for, but I think <laughs> if I do all that, when I start now, it would take a lot less time. Mm -hmm. I think so. I mean, okay, there's a band called Eagles of Death Metal. Mm -hmm. They're not a death metal band. They're a mm -hmm. rock and roll band. Mm -hmm. right? Why so, are they the ones who were playing at the Bethlehem? The Bethlehem, yes, yeah. yeah. And they were one of my favorite bands of all time. Mm. Uh, like, way before, like, I saw them live in, like, 2001. But the singer was the best friend of the singer of Queens of the Stone Age. One oh. of the biggest rock and roll bands in the world yeah. at the time. And his buddy was addicted to drugs, right? So he said, if you quit drugs, I will make you a rock and roll star. I'll make you a rock star. Mm -hmm. And he's like, fine. And in six months from picking up the guitar, they made their first record. And he's been a rock star ever since. He's a rock star at royalty. Was he natural, right. naturally talented or something? Maybe, maybe. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you listen to his first record, and you can hear the beginnerness of it. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of part of the charm. Yeah. Because he's got the feeling. Yeah. And yeah. it just pushes through. It's kind of like when you were grooving into it, mm -hmm. and you're starting to get into it. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's all about. It's like that's mm -hmm. just what carries the energy uh, through it. So even if you have four notes, you can get into yeah. it. Yeah. I don't know. And that's what we realize with all our challenges. Like there's some people you can say, okay, you have a natural talent, but yeah. talent only gets you so far. And I think you can not have a natural talent at yeah. all, but have a passion exactly. and work hard at it. Yeah. And maybe the result will be different, right. but you can still get yeah. to the same end, yeah. end game, right? Yeah. I think passion trumps in everything. Yeah.